My name, My name is, is Brittany. Brittany. I am 29. It seems like when you hit 30 that your partner count is considered something negative. Rather than being wild and free, it's just you can't find a man, so you can't stop looking and you can't stop f***ing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Erica. I feel I have a great, great income. income. You know, I get disability. I get, what else I get? You know, I'm working on getting more disability. When I add up everything, I get over 40 grand. Hey, my name's Charlize, and you know, I've been, I've known a lot of boys. If a guy's not gonna, you know, treat me right and take care of me and just do the dishes when I am too worked to the bone, because I, I work construction. I don't work construction, I'm a woman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wall Show. The show where 30 stops being a number and starts being an unescapable way of life. My co-host with me today. Hi everybody, I'm your co-host here, Kerry Casey Seller. We're going to sit in here talking to three beautiful blokes, trying to figure out what's going on in their life trying to be a Martin 30-year-old woman, finding a new man out there in the public. That's right, because we're British, mate. We're 100% British. It's the show that's filmed in Britain. Show me contestant number one. I'm Brittany, I'm 29. I'm looking for a real man. I prefer somebody that's pretty handy and can show me a thing or two. I'm looking for a nice, good-looking man with a great job. Sometimes I kind of feel like a ride, you know? Sometimes it's your turn, and when you're out, you're out, and some other guy that you never heard of is on right in back of you. Contestant number one, every princess like you has a dream, and that's to marry a man who she's in love with, a millionaire who's going to take care of her, provide her, provide for her, do all the things that a man's supposed to do. Tell me, why do you deserve that? Well, I actually deserve a little more than that because I'm not a princess, I'm a queen. Princess oh, is no. when you're a little girl. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize we were in the presence of royalty. Well, well, well. You are. <coughs> queen yourself. Tell us about your queen-like behavior. I can be ladylike in the appropriate situation, but I can also be less than a lady. Backstage, you would say, I asked you if you were a drinking lass there, miss, and you said, Indeed, you were a drinking lass. What was it exactly that you said to me when I asked you? I do like to drink, and when I drink... When I drink... I like, I like to like drink to profusely, drink profusely. And then black out. And then black out. And wake up. And wake up. And ask what the f*** happened. And ask what the f*** happened. And that's really what you said. That's what the Queen would do. That's what the Queen would do. Let's be honest. Definitely. That's what the Queen would do. She made her. She says, Nick, I like to drink and pass out and be a complete rubbish. Hi, my name's Steve. I'm 33 years old. I'm a lawyer, so I have my JD. And I hope some of the contestants enjoy swimming and jet skiing as I own my own lake house. I'm a, uh, I'm a rap artist. I got a hot new single right now. I'm about to blow up right now. Man, I got a nice body, and I get to the gym. And by the way, my name is Tinky. 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 Hi, my name is Sam. I work retail. I'd just like to get to know you, but whichever one you likes me, we can go. All right, contestant number one. Let's talk about it. Which one of these lovely boyfriends do you like? And why? I'm gonna have to say Steve. He seems to have his act together and I don't have to wait for him to man up and handle business. Contestant number three, who are you gonna pick here? I may not be able to save pennies, but I know this Steve over here, he can get a watch on him. He can show you his jeans closet. I mean, what men are really designed to do is collect watches and jeans and things like that. And so I, I like that. There's something, there's something smooth about him. He's damn sweet. All right, gotta go pick Steve. Steve, you hear that? You got two lovely ladies waiting to go out with you. How do you feel about that? Big man on campus, eh? Lucky me, for sure. Um, seems a little one-sided on, on this one, though. I mean, she's not really, uh, again, providing anything. I, I've worked my ass off 
my whole life getting somewhere, and I... Not ready to give it away. Hey, but Steve, don't you feel sorry for him? Don't you want to commit right away and give them the access to your bank accounts? I say they stay in school a little longer, they get great jobs, they keep their bodies in shape, and they find a guy like me after all that. <laughs> That's funny, Steve. <laughs> Izzy, what the best, best thing to be thinking about as she goes into the fifth grade? Um, the only thing she need to be thinking about is making good grades and not thinking about boys, because boys are bad. Do you cheat? Huh? Do I cheat? No, I don't cheat. Never. So you're, you, you, you take care of your man, you don't cheat? Yeah, I don't cheat. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Well, when, be honest it, when it wasn't going good, I did cheat. Ooh, I did you lied cheat. to us! And yeah, you I lied. lied. I lied. Contested number one. Number one! Brittany. Don't rush yourself into any decisions because sometimes rash decisions can f backfire. What are you talking about? Like, you're gonna turn 30, and then you're gonna turn 31, and then you're gonna turn 38, and how do you plan on doing that? TikTok. It always works better just to omit certain details. Lie? Withhold truth. What would you do if I told you that was my plan on picking up a, a woman? You have a bad Carfax, and I'm just supposed to take that? Are you the car dealer selling me a car with a bad Carfax? No. I think you've had too many accidents. Moving on. Chuck. Charlie's. 